somewhere along the Tay River, tucked away from dog walkers and weekend foot traffic, there lies a secret garden. Here, only native wildflowers grow, and bees and butterflies flourish. I think in North America, there's over 800 species of bees alone. So. And it's all thanks to two high school students. Black-eyed Susan, or the Rebecca. Black-eyed Susans are easy to grow, and they spread, too. Um, so I'm hoping over the years that these will spread, and I'll have a patch of comb flowers and black-eyed Susans. But there's also bee balm here. Hummingbirds love bee balm as well as bees. <laughs> Clara Meisner, along with her friend, have planted over a dozen pollinator patches across Lanark County. Jordan Ann and I planted pollinator gardens on people's properties for $50, and then we took that money to buy soil for the community gardens. This community garden was their most ambitious yet. This one started last summer. To get plants, we went and to a, like, a property that was just going to be bulldozed, and we just took as many native plants as we could. You can dig them out of your garden and give them to your neighbor, and then they can have a pollinator garden, and it will make a huge difference if everyone has one. Aside from the Butterfly Way project, Clara volunteers for a number of other initiatives. Locally, we have a group called the Youth Climate Circle, which we've just created um, with youth in and around my age where we provide support for them and giving them ideas on how you can make a difference. We talk about like climate awareness and like climate grief. Like climate grief and that has just had major impacts on kids my age and younger than me. A lot of that pressure to make a difference is put on youth because we're going to be inheriting the world. The monarch population has Bird shrunk. Bird populations are plummeting across North America. So one in every four. The Birds. effects of climate change are the main driver of insect decline. The impacts from global warming are growing more intense, more frequent, and more expensive. Um, yeah, sometimes I do feel like I could do, be doing more, but, uh, like... <laughs> There, uh, yeah, it's hard. We need to make a difference so that generations upon generations will live in a beautiful world like we can see now. I don't know, I just, people just don't realize that the small little things aren't gonna make a big difference. Renowned biologist E.O. Wilson once said, it's the little things that run the world. He was referring to insects. Insects are by far the largest class of animals on Earth and in many ways have created the world we live in. Insects are the foundation of our food webs and ecosystems. The Butterfly Way project continues to blossom. Keen volunteers planting thousands of wildflowers, making their yards and neighborhoods greener and healthier. Many of their actions are small, but these countless small actions are making a big difference. They show what is possible when you give back to the little things that run the world.